Y'all, when I tell y'all, too many people got on Beyonce's good freaking internet and lied. Like what Rolly said. No! Peggy, hey, when people lie! Do not lie! There's no reason for y'all to go on the internet and talk about, oh, I did this, I did this, I swore up, I won five rounds. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see it. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, oh yeah, they cut it out. Or like, I'm done. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it because House B, low key, y'all are my faves. But I'm looking at y'all real strange. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. How did in the fire come out? I'm a flame and if you wanna play with me, you can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, securing the bag. Alright, so I just want to start this video off basically saying, like I said in the last video, I do not sponsor support condone violence a zone all right now that i did that for youtube let's get into it so basically the episode starts off where it left off the girls over here squared up like yeah yeah come on what's up yeah what's up what's up all of a sudden um you see et like she's over here doing like a waddle dance she's i'm just like oh my god but you know Jiseki, I feel like I feel like E.T. E. got like two punches, cause E.T. just a ta da da, but Jiseki ate it. She just like, uh, uh huh, yeah, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. I'm like, E.T. girl. After they fell on the ground, we see it's like a whole big scuffle. You see Camilla try to get in. You see Roly snatch up on a Mac, and on a Mac she over here running around like just what happened? Oh my God, la have you seen that? It's just like, ah, ah, like she is running around, right? <clears throat> so she finally tried to get to Rolly. She really can't get to Rolly. It was what it was. I say it was complete mayhem. And Nini's just in there like, like basically thinking like, how in the fuck did I get here? But you know, it was what it was. Oh, um, so they really opened up the hole. They just said like, you know what? And the what is the guard ship the uh, security guards they're over here trying to like get all they like get your talent get your talent get your girl get the producer get your talent like they're trying to separate all the girls because it's just so much going on like and you got sky over there in the, in the mayhem just like girl when is the next break just like chilling so we see the girls break off um et she go out and change her clothes Take you go ahead and change her clothes so while they're over here changing their clothes, Natalie is still going crazy. And she's just like, yeah, y'all made no sense. It's weird, bro. It's weird, bro. But I have to give a shout out to Biggie. Um, even though I want to just say that Biggie lost every fight that she was in with um, Rolly. Let's just say that. But I like Biggie. But what Biggie said to Natalie um, holds true. Like, she held Natalie to such high regard, and that's her. She holds Natalie to such high regard because she just like, you know, you come on to the show, you say, this is my show, y'all are my baddies, this, that, and the third. And that comes with, you know, being an executive producer. Like, you know, Natalie created the show, she wasn't the original bad girl. So it's just one of those things where it's like, it's going to rub people the wrong way, or they're gonna hold you to a high regard for you to be fair and not have favoritism or bias. And that's how they feel. They feel like, um, or Biggie feels like, you know, she has some type of bias or she's not being fair. <clears throat> Which I can respect the fact that, you know, Biggie spoke up to Natalie and said, like, you know what, at the end of the day, I was, you know, I rock with you, I'm cool with you, like, like you know, we good. However, you were here side with E.T. and let her be in house, house A, I should have been in house A. And low key, I feel like that was kind of a smack in the face to all the other girls in House B. Because yes, like maybe you should have been in House A. Cool, maybe you should. However, you, you are a replacement. So regardless of the fact, you automatically, by default, House B. But anyway, and like Anna said, like House B was lit. So for y'all, for you to even have to come out your mouth, it for me, it seems like Biggie is begging for Nelly's approval. And she just oh yeah you know Nally you my friend you're this and it, it was so shocking hearing Rolly say yeah Nally is my friend she's my friend so I'm gonna check on my friend because Et was wrong and shout out to um Rolly Rolly for actually you know checking Et just like why did you run up on Nally she was like and then Et's like Nally trying to set me up she trying to set me up I I know I I knew I tell you who it was I tell you who it was she trying to set me up 
And my whole thing is like, if she was trying to set you up, don't mean that she did. Because literally, you went after her when she was over here just la 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 la, just minding her business. And you got um everybody else setting up, just like yeah yeah, she coming out, and you run off on her. That didn't make no sense, right? Um, so Et comes back on stage, you know. <laughs> she come back on stage in a pink hoodie. I don't know why people, if you over here fighting, do not put your hood up. Like, you know girls like to um, pull hair. Just wrap your hair. Don't put a hood because all they're going to do is that hood right here, put it over your face. And then they will swing you every which way but loose. Um, however. I don't condone violence. However, um, you know, the guards open up the whole little section for them to square up. And I'm just like, damn, like they really out the <laughs> I said, we are getting fed, girl. They giving us <laughs> So Taseki throw her hands up, E.T. throw her hands up. She's like, come on, come on. E.T. yet again rush in and Taseki just gave her a, a family size 12 piece. I was just like, it is just crazy how she is mopping the floor with this girl and whoever was online talking about yeah you know to second you know she was on uh, or et she was over here you know she won some rounds i haven't seen et won not one round so far but from anyone right um so she just pop 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 ta -da, pa -da. i'm like ah right so everything like goes up again camilla and be, um, Ro Camilla and Roly go into the circle. It's their turn. And you know, you hear um, Camilla, she just ready. She just like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. So to be honest, I ain't gonna hold you. The the fight lasted for like 10 seconds. The, the first seven seconds, Camilla, she had the upper hand. However, I don't know why people are go turning their back Going this way, cause those last three seconds, Rolly <laughs> fell on the ground. Just it was a sight. It was a sight. It was a sight. <laughs> so they over here doing that. Uh, Anna Matt running around, still Biggie running around, and then. Roly basically sits down after everybody's like, you know, fights here, fights there. Roly sitting down, she basically telling um Biggie, she's like, let them know the real reason why you um got mad at me while we beefing and cause you wanted to eat my and baddies um West. Biggie, tell them why you're really mad because you want to eat my pussy. Bitch, you, you got, got four green different green smells on your body. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Biggie talking about, yo, yo, I ain't trying to eat, I ain't trying to eat none of that. You know she's lying, she's lying, bro, she's lying. I ain't trying to do none of that because she got different, four different smells of her body. Four different smells of her body. I would never do none of that, none of that. Four different smells. She got smells right here, right here, right here, and right here. I'm like, <laughs> that's why I have never heard somebody say you got four different smells in your body. Like, let me put that in my Rolodex. <laughs> okay, I'm still there. But I'm just like. Like, if it was true, girl. So, you know, in the midst of the chaos, how many T snuck Scotty? Oh, uh, it's somebody, I think Biggie hit Scotty too. Somebody else hit Scotty. So, Scotty's over here just screaming and hollering. Oh like, my God, don't hold me, don't hold me. Da, da, da. All that. <clears throat> so, they shoot a fair one. Um, how many is T over here? Doing freaking matrix moves like girl. No ma'am. Can I just say if hi my name is T, if that hit would have landed, she would have tore Scotty's jaw to pieces. <laughs> she really put her all in that one swing. And to be honest, like if she would have just stayed face to face with Scotty. Scotty really wasn't doing that. Scotty was literally one hand just pop, 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 pop in the back of her skull. Just dome, dome, dome. I don't feel no violence. And I'm just like, dang, girl is going to have a headache. Um, But yeah, how my name is T. After that, she calmed down. Yeah, she sat down too. I forgot, forgot to mention that um, Taseki and E.T. when they were fighting, girl got her in the chair. Girl, E.T. fell in the chair. I said, 
girl. Give it up. And then her face was so swole. I felt so bad for baby girl. I, I did. I felt so bad for baby girl. And this is one of those situations where she probably felt like she's been set up. However, for E.T., you did, you called out damn near half the cast, and then you tried to, on stage, sneak half the cast. She was over here trying to sneak Mariah. For what reason? I don't know. I feel like she wanted to she try to, um, she probably sees Mariah as the weakest girl, meaning that she is the smallest, her and Anna, and she was just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go go for her because I can't keep losing. Because the girl, the girl right now, the track record is zero. Zero. Right. So... She kept trying to sneak um, Mariah. I'm just like, girl, what? I'm trying to sneak Mariah for her. And then there was a situation where Mariah ran up. <laughs> Rolling E.T. was talking. Or, or E.T. was walking on stage. Mariah ran up. She, and then the guard got away. But she could have hit E.T. But she didn't. She stopped. <laughs> and Rolly was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was funny because she jumped so hard. <laughs> I said, Rolly, you got surprised? You got scared, girl? <laughs> um, but E.T. go outside. Um, I guess she's just frustrated. Um, Rolly's basically walking around trying to figure out what happened. Why did you run up on Natalie? Boo, boo, boo. So they go into the trailer. They're talking. And basically, um, Rolly goes out after that. After they talk. We don't hear what they said, but I'm assuming she's saying that the hairstylist. So she went to the hairstylist and she was like, why are you over here starting mess saying that Natalie um, tried to set on um, E.T. up? And he was like, I never said that. And she was like, well, that's what she's saying. And he's just like, okay, but well, I didn't say that. And then Rose trying to call her out the chair like, is this the guy? Is this the guy? And then I guess she's not coming out. And no, 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 no. Wait before you go in because I want to know if this is the one that told her that. E.T., is this, is this this one? I ain't got time for that weird shit. That shit is weird as fuck. Just like why? Why you not coming out? And my whole thing with Roly, instead of Roly going back on stage and accusing that man of something that she's not one hundred percent sure of, she should have said, "Hey," which well, she kind of did. But it was she still used him as like y'all need to stop talking to him and saying stuff around him when you don't know for a fact that he said it. And he even on um, Instagram said that he didn't say it. But she basically went back on stage like and this is where like it got calm and everybody was talking using that word I'm like thank god um so she just said look I just talked to E.T. the reason why she ran up on Natalie was because she um said that the hairstylist basically told her that you know the girls are gonna come and you know Natalie got her set up and she was just like yeah y'all need to watch what you say around him this and the third because it's gonna get back whoop 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 I'm just like Okay, that's fine. It's valid. But we need to make sure before you accuse someone that you have the right information. Because to be, to be honest, at this point, E.T.'s lying. So it is what it is. Um, Natalie finally speaks because she's been over here just confused this whole time. <laughs> My brand new Chanel boots that you just fucked up, I'm taking that out of your fucking check, bitch. Uh -uh, so you want to see a fucking bitch. boss? I'm going to show you. $5,000 boots. So she's just like, you know, it's weird because I... Um, you know, I try to do everything for these girls. I drop thousands of dollars, a hundred thousand dollars Sundays, this and the third. And I'm looking at Natalie like, girl, you are, if this is true, because you know how Natalie be pump faking. Natalie, you are too gracious. Because she was like, yeah, if I'm going to Nima Marcus, I'm going to Fendi, and they want a bag, I'm going to buy everybody a bag. You see Nene talking about, that's nice. <laughs> And it's just like, they don't catch the shade. They probably do catch the shade, but it's Nene, so. She's like, oh, that's nice. Because who is over here going to buy every... I get it, maybe that's your girl's cool, but it's like... For me, what it seems like is, Natalie, you expect these girls to live... You proclaim these the baddies or whatever. You got these girls. You can do the... You know, Natalie is able to afford herself that lifestyle. These girls cannot afford this other lifestyle. She's like, yeah, you know, if I have four um, courtside tickets, I have eight baddies. I'm going to buy the other four courtside tickets, too. I'm just like, okay, girl, but do you want a cookie? Because that's what you chose to do. Nobody told your ass to go up there and buy these girls the stuff and set an expectation. Now they have an expectation for you to keep doing this. And she's like, well, I'm going to have to change. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. 
and then would you switch it up it's just gonna be favoritism you put yourself in this predicament and situation and now you're gonna have to move accordingly that's just what it is and that's what biggie was saying Wait, she walks around name. like i'm the boss these are my baddies this is my yeah. shit like you over here check on them you do this and et was saying the same thing but ultimately i do agree with what nini was saying y'all can't put the bulk of the blame on her and put her on this pedestal as this high hasa diddy this person that is just like oh my god now that she's just great yes she's the showrunner and the producer and whatever have you however y'all have to realize that every woman on that stage get money everyone on that stage is grown and seem like they about their business so i'm just confused on why they are so pressed of natalie's approval is it because you want to stay on the show why are y'all holding her at such a high standard she only has so much power um the coochie girls come out suki and um sapphire um they seem like they're united front they look great um i think the thing i sapphire is very talk talking like yeah you know this and the third, and I'm just like, girl, fuck all of what you talking about. We want to talk about why didn't you have Suki, Suki's back? That's what we want to talk about. Like, that's the only part that really makes sense. They sit down, and then Smiley comes out. Smiley comes out in a sling, hands bloody. Everybody just, <laughs> and um, Mariah's already just like, girl, I don't got time for this. She stood up, and everybody's telling her to sit down. They ask, like, what's the beef is? And, you know, Smiley, they're like, what's Smiley? Well, at the end, they ask her what she came here for. <laughs> I came here for my chain. I came here for my chain. That's all. I came here for my chain. I'm like, girl. <laughs> um, so, you know, Mariah, is, they talk about the whole situation about the chain. And for me, I feel like Mariah was doing too much explaining. Because she just, I was cool with you. I said this and I did this because I was trying to figure why you switched up on me. And I'm just like, girl, I'm not going to explain too much. Suki already said, look, I got her chain back. I told her, I said, bitch, go get your fucking chain. It was what it was. If she didn't like it, she didn't like it. I told her that she needs to go home with the other girls on the, on the list. Me, But we're going to end up fighting. That's what I said. And that's, I'm being a real. And I just felt like with Mariah, you were trying to explain the situation too much. Like, I was cool with you. I thought we were friends and this and the third. But what I said and when I did this and the role is like, no, what you said, you said you're going to sneak her. But Roly, you did get caught because you said sneak and then you switched up and said check. Which one was it? Which one was it? Because everybody else have been hearing sneak, right? So Sapphire basically asked Mariah, like, did you say you was gonna sneak her? That's where all this came from. This that you was gonna sneak her. She was like, no, I never said that. And then you hear Raul Rollins like, you are lie, you are bold faced lie. I just felt like in that moment, like Mariah, girl, if you you came in with Tim's, you came in with sweats, tank and a hat, like. Stand on business at this point. It's the reunion. Why are we doing this, this much talking? You said what you said. It should have been done. But you kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going. I'm like, girl, what what you really explaining? You said what you said. Like, I don't have no beef with her. It's nothing. So it was what it was. I would have sat there like, I have no beef with Suki. Um, when I heard that she was trying to come after me, it was it was up. Like, girl, you kept on saying I should go home. Okay, send me home. And I would just sit back like. And Rolly can say what she said, like, girl, I know what I said. Like, nobody can tell me what I said, so that's, that's fine. And boom, that's it. That's, that's all you had to say. Because in those situations, I, I'm seeing, like, y'all baddies. So it's like, ain't no bitch going to check me and tell me nothing. But that's not what the situation was, right? So, you know, when Smiley, they've been talking about how Smiley has been antagonizing, picking, joking, all this stuff to Mariah, but it also started with Suki, because Suki was like, why were you even on texting my phone? I don't know you. And you basically telling me that, oh yeah, you know, I got your friend chain. Like, for what? Because you want you want, the, you want the moment, you want to go back and forth. So, Smiley, um, first of all, Smiley and Mariah, they cool now. She got her, she, she got her chain, I, got, I want my chain. She got her chain. <laughs> so, they cool now, and, um, they cool after the show, not this moment. But when she said she wanted Jane, that got up. You know, they tried to start fighting. End of the show. I thought it was only going to be two parts, but it's going to be a third part. Part three is going to be next week. And this reunion was good. I have to give I have to give credit where credit is due. When, even on Backers Club, it wasn't even like this. This was like 
chaos and i feel like with every reunion that they have it's getting more structured however it's still just chaos there's so much stuff going on that you gotta look over the screen but that was it y'all let me know what you guys think if i miss anything put it down in the comments let's talk about it like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Brian Keith, LG, Black Pete. bet you didn't know we the holy trinity now let the god stop a dollar break your head step into the room and get up in the bed it tastes sweet that's cause i'm good it tastes sour cause i'm better than the hood uh cause i get you hyper when i run out all around cause i excite ya let me talk let me talk real quick you can't even get get with the shit you wanna go toe to toe with my flow the sour candy all i really have to throw uh now i got to go got